Hola amigos, bienvenidos. Hi everybody, how are you? Welcome to our second uh, book that we're reading for you guys. It's Spanish English Story Time. And today we have a really cool book. It's about a game that I like to play when I was a little girl. And actually, I will ask you a couple of questions while we're reading the book because I'm curious if you play that game and how did you play it so we can compare how was it when you played when you were a little girl and I, how I played when I was a little girl. So the name of the story is Las Escondidas. Hide and seek. Hide and seek. If we can see somebody hiding, let's go and read the first page, which is going to be the same. Las Escondidas. Hide and seek. Yes. Okay, that's all. We can practice los números in this page. So we're going to say uno, uno, one, dos, two, tres, three, cuatro, four, cinco, five, seis, six, siete, seven, ocho, eight, nueve, nine, diez, ten. The next page is, me encanta jugar a las escondidas. ¿Listos? Ya. I love to play hide and seek. Ready? Yes. Yay. And we have everybody. So the cat, the cat, what is doing? That will be me like, yay, let's go play. I'll be so excited. The cat and the little mouse. Oh, we can practice los animales and I believe that on these books, we will have probably the same animals mm. participating in the stories. Um, but I read, I look at the books previously to show them to our uh, friends, and I did not see this. So I'm going to go through all the animals, and I'll tell you at the end what's the name of this Okay. One. Um, this one is Gato. Gato. This one is Perro. Perro. Mm-hmm. This one, mouse in English, in Spanish, raton. Raton. This one in English, turtle. Turtle. In Spanish, we say tortuga. Tortuga. Yes, muy bien. Tortuga. And do you know what is the name of this in Spanish, this guy? Niño. Niño. Muy bien, niño. Okay, let's go and read the next one. ¿Dónde estás? Mira en el sofá. Where are you? Look at the sofa. Yes. And we can see who is hiding over here. So obvious. I see the little tail, colita o cola, and then the, ma the mouth, boca, nariz, nose. That's so cute. Really, he's trying really hard, but I think he everybody can see him. So, Miss Betty, yes, and when we played the game, when you saw someone, uh, you could see that they were hiding, we would say, I see you, and then say our friend's name. Oh, you know, what? and then where they were, we said that we did the same thing in Spanish in Mexico, so we will say. Oh, you know the name. I see you. And then they will be out. Yes. We will say, you're out. Um, did you say you're out too? Like, I don't remember, but I know we, we had to say the name. Yes, that was they were out at that point. You okay. had to say their name and where they were hiding. Yeah, that's exactly how we did it. Oh. Yeah, that's very interesting. And let's read the next page. ¿Dónde estás? Mira en la televisión. <laughs> where are you? Look at the television. Which I think that's kind of tricky. The cat is inside of the TV. Mm, yeah. You know what I'm thinking that is happening? Probably the same thing that we're doing right now. We have a camera oh. and they can, you guys can see us on the screen. Maybe that's what the cat was doing because Maybe. there's no way to get inside of a television. Yeah, no. Right? Yeah. Smart gato. Yes. Listo, gato muy listo. Mm. You know what? We can practice los colores ah. because I can see two different colors in these pages, so mm. we can go ahead and practice that. Okay. So 
blue in mm. Spanish we say azul. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. Now many people think because it's a Z, they will pronounce it as azul. But there is no Z sound in this uh, in the alphabet in, in Spanish. It's only S. So the sound is even for the letter Z. And and this word is spelled with a Z? So yes. A -Z. So the word in Spanish for blue is A-Z-U-L. But we pronounce it in Spanish azul. Azul. Yes. Not azul. Oh. Yes. Azul. Very good job. I've definitely made that mistake before. Yes. Yes. But you did it perfectly. <laughs> Very good job. And now the screen on the TV... What mm. color is in English? Green. Green. In Spanish, we say verde. 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 Muy bien. Muy bien. Sofa, televisión. Okay. Let's read the next page. ¿Dónde estás? Mira detrás de las cortinas. Where are you? Look behind the curtain. I love this. <laughs> I want to make a zoom because you can see who's hiding over there. It's so obvious. Is that little uh, mouse, Raton? He's hiding over there, but we can see him. <laughs> Let's go to the next page. Mm -hmm. In this one, we say, ¿Dónde estás? Mira en la cómoda. Where are you? Look in the dresser. Yes. And the colores that we're using here, cortinas naranja. Naranja. For orange, naranja. And this one is, we already mentioned this color. Verde. Verde. Muy bien. Miss Jennifer is getting so good. I have a good maestra. Yes, maestra. <laughs> wow. Miss Jennifer, you're surprising me. Very good job. Muy bien. Let's go ahead and read the next page. It says, ¿Dónde estás? Mira debajo de la silla. Where are you? Look under the chair. Oh, and look, he's moving his little <laughs> tail. He's so excited. I think he wants to be found. He's excited Probably He's like, oh, can you, are they going to find me? Are they going to find me? <laughs> Let's go ahead and read the next page. It says, ¿Dónde estás? Mira sobre la mesa. Where are you? Look on top of the table. Yes. And I see something really funny happening. I'm going to zoom in. So you guys, look at this. I'll show it to you, Miss Jennifer. But uh, I want to show our friends this. And probably they're going to spy what I'm spying. Now it's your turn. Oh. <laughs> That's a clever cat. That is a bit, gato muy listo. Yes, because at first I thought, oh, it looks like lampara. Lampara. Lampara, which a is lamp. lamp, lamp in Spanish. Uh, in Spanish we say lampara. But then I was like, wait a minute. That is not a lamp. <laughs> that was very funny. So, <clears throat> silla, the color is rojo. Rojo. Mm -hmm. La mesa es de color verde. Ver, verde. Verde. Muy bien, muy bien. And then the gato. Mm. Lámpara, lamp. <laughs> okay, let's see the next page. ¿Dónde estás? Mira debajo de la cama. Oh, oh. Where are you? Look under the bed. And we can see who's hiding under the bed. Then the next page is, ¿Dónde estás? Mira detrás de la puerta. Where are you? Look behind the door. Yes. So we have in bed, we have two colors. One of them is my favorite color. What color is this in English, Miss Jennifer? Uh, probably a turquoise. Turquoise. In Spanish, we say turquesa. 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 Muy bien. 
And then this color, do you know what color is this in Spanish? No, I would say purple in English. Yes, purple in English. In Spanish, is nothing even close. Oh. Turquesa is close to turquoise. Mm. But for purple, we say morado. 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 Muy bien. And then the door is... Naranja. Naranja. Muy bien, Miss Jennifer. Very, very good job. <laughs> You're a great student. Everybody needs to practice los colores. Naranja. And remember, cama, puerta. Cama, puerta. Now, let's wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I see the cat Again. behind the door. He's changing places. First, he was. In the TV. In the TV, inside of the TV, yeah. which, <laughs> right, in the TV. And then he was sneaking. Under the lamp. Under the lamp, the lamp. Right. And now it's behind the door. Mm. That is cheating. Yeah, in hide and seek, uh, we didn't move around. Right? Yeah. I, when I was growing up and we played hide and seek, Las Escondidas, you could not change places. You will hide somewhere. And then you will stay put there until mm. they, they couldn't find you. But, and this is something that I want to ask you, we had a base. So we, before we started the game, we would say, this is our base. It could be like, you know, like a pillow on the, on the floor or something. And then everybody will count uno, dos, to the uh, number 10 mm -hmm. or even longer, mm -hmm. yes, or más. And then we will go and run and hide. Mm -hmm. The person who was looking for the people, if somebody sneak out and touch base, they had to run and say, okay, one, two, three, for all my, for me and all my uh, teammates. Oh. And then everybody will be safe. Oh, wow. Is that how you played it? We did not, we did not have that special rule, no. So everyone um, had to be chased to base. We did have a base. Um, but if, if we identified you like the dog and said, I see the dog, he's in the couch, then the, the person who was seeking had to chase the dog to base. If the dog touched base first, they got to continue playing as a hider. But if the seeker touched them, they were the new seeker and the game started all over. Oh, that's very interesting. That is very interesting to know how you <laughs> play it differently. Than I hid like the cat very still and quiet in the lamp because I didn't want to be found because I didn't like to be chased. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that, that would be a, re a good reason Very why to stay <laughs> and find a good way to yes. help yourself. Yes. Okay, let's go to the next page. This one is, ¿Dónde estás? Mira en el lavamanos. Where are you? Look in the sink. Oh, and here we go. Uh-oh. That cat again. <laughs> He's hiding in there again. Let's read the next page. It says, ¿Dónde estás? Mira en la taza del baño. ¡Qué chistoso! <laughs> Where are you? Look in the toilet. <laughs> so funny. Yes. <laughs> and you know why it's so funny? Did you see it? Oh, that is I want to make a zoom yeah. so you guys can see. He is a mouse, ratón, and he has goggles. Oh my gosh, that he was very well prepared. He was prepared. He was. I I will it's, not hide inside of the toilet. Definitely do not Never hide ever. inside the toilet. But the mouse was definitely prepared. Yeah. Um. And the tortuga. Uh huh. Tortuga was very surprised to find <laughs> someone hiding in the toilet. <laughs> that is so true. Look at that face. She's like, <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Oh. And we practice los colores. Oh, yes. This one's, uh, this one, what color would you say this is? Yellow. Yellow. I think so, too. And in Spanish, we say amarillo. Amarillo. Mm -hmm. Amarillo. And this one will be white. White. I think so, too. In Spanish, we say blanco. 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 Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Let's see the next one. Oh, and here we have... Everybody's otra vez again. Yes, and everybody's so happy except the turtle. She's like, <laughs> I think she's still in shock about the mouse. 
<laughs> look, look. Probably she's like, uh, we could not see it, but probably he's smelly. Oh, this is what I'm trying to figure it out what's going on. She's probably, oh, I'm staying away from him. That is so funny. Look at him. And el niño está muy feliz. El gato está muy feliz. El perro. Now let's go and practice um, the name of the things in Spanish, the furniture. Okay. And also los colores. We can practice okay. that. Silla roja. Silla roja. Yes. Red chair. Silla roja. Now, this will be, in English, a green table. Green table. In Spanish, we say mesa verde. Mesa verde. Mm -hmm. And this will be? A blue cushion. Blue cushion. Uh, let's call it like the piece of furniture since we practice that. A blue couch. A blue couch, but it, I agree with you. It's not oh, the it couch. Oh, it was chair, wasn't it? No, it's, it's it couch. a couch. Okay. Sofa. Sofa. Uh, we will say sofa azul. Sofa azul. Mm -hmm. Oh, you <laughs> made a mistake. It's okay. It's okay. It remember, it's with S. No, sofa with azul. Muy bien, muy bien. <laughs> I have to correct her because I'm sure that you guys are saying it incorrectly. So this is a perfect time mm, to practice that. Mm. If you say it incorrectly, do not feel bad. Just practice it again and again. And just remember the rule. I'm pretty sure that you will get it. And soon you will be like, oh, I said it correctly without even hesitating. And that's going to be great. Now, the last one is going to be a yellow lamp. Yellow lamp. In Spanish, we say lámpara amarilla. Lámpara amarilla. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go and see the next, last one. Oh, me encanta jugar a las escondidas. Listos? Ya. Yeah. And the cat is counting. Uno, dos, tres. I love to play hide and seek. Ready? Yes. And she comes in Spanish, in English. One, two, three. Three. Yes, very good. And then, oh, the dog and the mouse are running. And look at the turtle. You know what? The turtle has the perfect place to hide. <laughs> yes, I think they're going to hide together under the stairs. Yes, okay. and the turtle has even an extra place to hide since she has the chicken. That's right, hide. that's right. And that was the end. In Spanish, we say el fin. The end. Okay, so that was Las Escondidas. I hope that everybody had a great time uh, while we read you this book. Did you have fun? I had a great time. I also had a lot of fun, and I learned something new, how you play hide and seek <laughs> in, in, you know, in America and how we play hide and seek in, mm. in Mexico. So that was very interesting. I hope that you guys enjoyed practice los colores and other uh, furniture pieces. We'll see you next time. Bye. Adios.